Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon we've come upon here on this grass field where I found a groat the other day. I've come merely to try out the Seth coil against the standard Gold Max coil to see if there's any perceptible difference in uh, detection depth or sensitivity. It's getting near the uh, detected season now, it's mid-August, so we're gonna, you know, we're hopefully gonna get by with using the Seth coil because it gives you greater ground coverage. So we come up here this afternoon to borrow a few targets, such as hammered and uh, a few copper coins uh, at known depths with a measure, and we'll uh, see if there's any honest uh, difference in these coils. Detectors are very much the same these days. The gold max power, it does the job. It's just that the choice of coil is obviously the critical factor these days, so uh, we get back to you and uh, see if there's anything to report. Thank you. As you can see, we've got uh, standard fare for a metal detector uh, test here. Got a cut quarter, uh, silver sixpence, uh, a rather knackered penny, and a couple of copper coins. So let's see how we get on. Some really hard targets there. Alright guys, I just uh, arranged these targets in like a horseshoe pattern in the ground and labelled them so I know exactly what they are. Uh, if you come across the, the medieval cut quarter, about three and a half inches down here as you can see. Getting a pretty good response there for a cut quarter. As you can see on the old gold max, I've got him set on... Uh, About 11, 10, to 11, 10 or 11 o'clock position. Uh, next one is the hammered penny. He's, he's buried at about 4 inches. See, no problem with that. Absolutely lovely little signal. I could have buried that a bit deeper, really. But, realistically, that's about that's pulling about 3 inches off the ground as well. Good signal. Bit of a harder test. Roman minim. As you can see, there's a bit of iron in the ground nearby, so this is a realistic test. This is a bit harder. Buried at about three and a half inches down. That is a, that is a really small coin, about 12 millimetres across. That's about the same as a quarter stator. So that's the sort of response you'd get from a quarter stator if you uh, were lucky enough to have one there. Silver shillings at five and a half inches. If you listen to the tone... Tell us a bit of silver because you got a really that's the same that's the same sound that Grope made a couple of weeks back. Although it was actually a bit bigger, so it gave a sharper tone. Like a very distinct silver. A Roman grot buried at four inches down represents no problem for a gold max. There's a bit of iron in the ground uh, a few inches away from that and it's pulling it no problem at all. And Ship half pen is a bit of a surprise though. Seven inches down. It's not that's not particularly good really. Um I expected the gold max to pull that a bit deeper, but about an inch off the ground I'm just getting him. The old ship half pen is a bit of a I mean we don't I'm not I'm not gonna gonna cry about it too much, but the ship half penny wasn't it, it, the standard core doesn't seem to be too hot on the old ship half penny, so uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm going to swap the coil over and retain the, the gold max settings. You can see, I've got a sens I haven't got the sensitivity weighing right up because on a bit of a uh, bit of iron in the ground there, it's impossible to um, to wind the sensitivity up. But if you notice, if you turn it down, I was just going to show you on the cut quarter. I've got that sensitivity turned down to about ten o'clock. It's getting him, but look at that lovely signal it gives. So, depth is not uh, everything and power is not everything. You get a clearer response if you turn the sensitivity down, so I suppose the machine is probably not uh, being inundated with um, sort of like uh, ambiguous responses from the ground. So, instead of being bombarded by all these confusing signals, you're just getting a... You listen to that shilling. Brilliant signals. Let's go and swap the cores and see if it makes any difference. Folks, we've got the uh, Ceph coil on now. Same targets, same uh, sensitivity level. Cut 
quarter. No problem with the cut quarter. It's wider signal. Hammered penny. Yeah, it's getting that, no problem. Again, it seems to be offering a bigger, wider signal area. Uh, the Roman Minim. Doesn't seem to be quite as hot on the Roman Minim. Uh, it might just be... I'll have to compare it when I get back home, really, but... It seems to be a little, little um, bit frayed around the edges on the Minim. But still getting him all the same. Again, it's uh, giving a bigger signal, a wider signal. Silver shilling. No problem at all with that. Again, it seems to be uh, the bandwidth, the actual bandwidth for the signal seems to be greater. You've got less chance of missing them in the field. Roman grot. Again, that's, uh, you'd get that no problem. And the ship half penny is a, is a better response than the half penny. You can hear it's got probably quite a good copper content, and you wouldn't miss that. But I'll tell you, the one thing with the Seth that the, you score over anything with these coils, you cover more ground, so as you're coming along, you're gonna hit these, you'll hit these targets no problem. So, I'm going to give it a little bit of a search in now on this field. Uh, we found a grot on it a few weeks back just there. Uh, I'm going to go over it again and see if we find any more targets to see if I've missed anything. Uh, not more to see if I've got any uh, treasure as such, but interesting to see what I've missed. So, be a good test for the coil. Get back to you. Thank you.